Okay, hello, I'm uh, Oscar Reese Freeman, director of the film. I'm Marcos, I act. And I'm Scott, I'm just some crazy redneck. <laughs> okay, there was a lot of uh, different ways that we that I planned to open the, the movie. This, I just came up with because every way that I tried didn't work, which made me sad. But, you know, it's the smoke always reminded me of, like, Prohibitionism. James yeah, I thought that would be kind of cool because, you know, oldies kind of... I like the power lines in the beginning. I use them in the open field. You could see the cars. The power power you could, yeah, that's one thing that bugged me is not many people notice. There's all these little things in there that, that I... Dude, no, it's a cigar. <laughs> No, that's a cigar. Ah, oh, okay. oh, this shot just killed me. But we had to have, that we had to fill <laughs> the the. Hey, look, it's me. This scene Josh. just showed how robotic Marcos's acting is because I did not use any audio from Marcos's takes. I, I only used audio we from Scott's takes, but Marcos's mouth that. just yeah. matched well, every well, single time. I think was, I changed my lines. <laughs> you did Over not say. You did not say a single line of dialogue that I wrote. No, I kind of took your general idea though and kind of put it together. Good observation there, Marshall. My favorite part about filming this scene is that Carly's dress flew up and we saw everything. It was interesting. Marcos, <laughs> you had to mention that. I had to mention that. That was my favorite part about filming this. The whole day was like, I, whatever. I hope you know that she's gonna know about this now. Yeah, she's gonna. Well, she knew that we all. She knew we all saw. I don't care. She knew we all saw. We didn't talk about it. We just now we're talking about it. All their case files were Sorry, Carly. <laughs> every time, every time I show this to someone, they just go, "He looks so pissed off at him." Who, the Mexican? Yes, Marcos. Yeah, the Frank sticking at me. That was just such a for, jerk. <laughs> for the longest time, when Marcos is walking away, he, at the end of that take, he flicks, he flips off Scott, and I did not edit it out. And it wasn't hey, until, like, we're one. sitting in the same room done. that you interrogated that <laughs> girl. And and yes, this <laughs> is just a sound for room. I always use it for interrogation scenes, because it works. That bitch right there is my sister. Says here He's cute. Jennifer. <laughs> when I'm drunk. <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> nah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. We're not even in this. She knew, like, she did actually a pretty good job for the fact that I gave her the script right then, and she did it right then. Reese, I always do it right then. Yeah, but you're actually good. You, you, your acting style grew from that. Really? So, because you started with me, so I made you. you. I'll probably never, <laughs> ever <laughs> not do it right then. What is that? If that makes any sense, probably doesn't. I think it makes sense. For those of you who understand me, yes. <laughs> She's so bad. <laughs> I'm sick. This is horrible. We're gonna be sicky dialogue. Oh god, this is this is. <laughs> The camera was an autofocus, and I could not take it off because this this scene was filmed with a different camera than all the other scenes. All the other scenes were filmed with my and so camera, and it's <laughs> and so focused on Marcos's hair, and I couldn't get it to Frank. focus on. I am on Frank. It focused on Frank's hair, and it wouldn't focus on her, and it just but it was the only take that we had that was good. Wasn't that like so Charles Norris or something? You were Charles Norris. Charles Norris. Norris. But no, but his he let his surname is now Frank. Did she ever so. say what mom? Frank Stickener. No, or what are your alias? What what sir what's my surname? Alias. What is surname? Surname, that. isn't that like when you say Mr. Blah? I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. like their marriage yeah. name. Your oh, marriage name. Mm -hmm. No, that's I don't know. That's I don't know. I hope you find Look it up in comments because we don't know what the fuck surname is. <laughs> After interrogating Black. the roommate. <laughs> I gathered a lot of I'm useful information. Yeah, I'm never doing an accent <laughs> again. Or if I am, it's not going to be a Spanish Something accent. Fishy about this case. For all of you who wondered, <laughs> it is a supposed to be a Spanish it's accent. It's supposed to be a Spanish, but it's just... It developed into whatever weird words I said. Just letting you all know, these parts of the movie right here were filmed in a Mormon church. Yeah. Just letting you know, this whole scene we had to do in uh, one, pretty much killing. one take for every angle, and if we if we had to do multiple takes from any angle, we would have, because the yeah. the battery for the camera was at like two percent, and it died in the middle at the end of one of the takes, and that, but we had everything, so it made it really good. 
said she was. We pregnant. made we made it out just in a pinch. Is your guys' girlfriend's What's piece of shit? Name, Joey? I don't think so. Dude, I don't. Know. My, my girlfriends girl. have girlfriend. never gotten me food. My girlfriend doesn't even live in the city. <laughs> what <That> sucks. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, well. Sorry, I'm trying. You're in with trying. The Chances are. Yeah. Anyways, this scene, I, I, my acting is horrible. So yeah. <laughs> this is the only scene where I'm just like Marcos. <laughs> you used to be good. <laughs> Although, uh, Chuck, aka Scott, did actually a really good job of acting in this scene. I thought so. Anyway, he did a good job at displaying uh, that his character was worried no. about what was about to happen. You don't need him for that. And was a very kind of anxious and nervous. Right. Didn't know really what to do. I thought that was good. I'll meet you to ask what was happening in real life. God, I just have so much facial hair. It's ridiculous. I need to shave again. But yeah, it's just too much. If I ever get like that again, slap me. <laughs> like right on the beard. You know? I just... I, you got like that because I, could, I wouldn't let you shave. That's true. Because I said, no, we have to keep the continuity. Because it all happens in one day. Anyways, this scene opened up with a this, beautiful shot. This was the first scene we ever, uh, we ever shot for this film. And it was my first time using Scott's really HD Canon uh, 60D camera. And I was just so excited because it was so amazingly beautiful. No, 90D... I don't yeah, think 90D exists. 90D. Nobody yeah. has a 90D. Never mind. You're a freaking moron. <laughs> this is it. Imagine a 90D. Oh, be. Scott's hair is All longer. Right. Yep, that Scott's hair is longer because we filmed this scene first. And then right after we filmed this, I like, joined the sheriff's department. And, and they made him cut his hair him. because they're all a bunch of Republicans. <laughs> Hey, I'm a cool cop, all right? City investigators. Hey, if I ever pull you over, just tell me you saw the movie Moonshiner. <laughs> all right? Would you actually get them off Scott Free for doing that? Scott Free. <laughs> Scott Free. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember, someone said, I saw your movie on YouTube. Well, the scene where that little cutaway of Richard running, we filmed on the day that we filmed uh, the opening scene where Carly's laying there on the floor and uh, Scott and Marcos are standing over, the, over her. We filmed that on the same day, and they had moved all these computers into their living room, or dining room area, and I had to work so hard to get this giant fucking square of a Mac to not be in shot. In that was mom. so impossible. Yeah, Tell me which one? crazy. I can help you. Keep I, uh, this whole scene here has been filmed in my house, my beautiful house. So, no, you're not in this. <laughs> Who cares about you? Richard is also. We in gotta the room. catch him. <laughs> Richard's also in the room. We're just he just decided not to talk. But no one yeah. cares about Richard. <clears throat> but I care about Richard. Are you sure? Richard yeah. Santos. He's a, he plays he plays Jeff Beckett. The Jeffrey guy, Beckett. The guy that I kill. The guy that Scott kills. This that scene right there where Marcos is running. He actually it's in the bloopers where he says, "Where is that motherfucker?" I just took the audio out, but because it, it was the only good take we had. Yeah, I only did that like three times because I didn't feel like running more. And, so, yeah. and that's actually the take where, uh, in the bloopers as well, where Jeff eats shit. Or Richard eats shit. Ricardi. The Scott's tripod, when I used it as a handheld, like, it, was, it had a multi-purpose purpose to be like a monopod as well. And it made this weird clacking sound that I didn't hear Straight until... Because he's editing. deaf in one ear. Ain't that a twist. Reese Freeman, Oscar Reese Freeman, go back to the is deaf in one ear. The camera. For Take all you people. Of the scene. This scene part right here I actually didn't write. Uh, this scene was supposed to be a lot shorter right here, but <laughs> Scott just kind of ranting and kind of disorientingly talking about things yeah. and just like trying to make it that's keep his cool. That's just how I do. That's a, but I thought it it, it transpired really well as like your character just trying to to make it seem like everything was. Was just you know, rifle. good and yes, regular. From that direction, and he's probably long gone by now. I'll also he get the, the guns <laughs> when I'm getting the camera to come back and take pictures. We're gonna need uh, some fire power for the rest of this case. Good idea. I like how you do that little jolt when you say the rest of this case. What can you watch? As I actually really hate that shot. That this shot right here. A lot of people like it. I hate it. What? Like, who says they like it? I hate that shot. People uh, right I've here. shown it to? I will punch them in the face. Just Why, kidding. do you not like it? No, no, I, don't, I like that shot. I hate it. Well, I think I, like I really wish I could have it. It's like, just me. <laughs> Martell's getting close. And then there's the big, <laughs> the big deus ex machina. This is also um, filmed in the Mormon Church. Yes. We, uh, we filmed this scene on the same day that we filmed 
the uh, office. In, in fact, scene. the office room is literally right next to this room. Yeah, they're they're to they're flush to each other. Of a child out of wedlock, not to mention with that low life. <laughs> Yeah. We got Elijah, who's a kid in our class, who actually is a in, on YouTube as well. Uh, we'll link to him as well in the in the down. Steep, don't you think? This is my favorite part of the whole movie. Did you find us? Really? I noticed yeah, I like this part too. It's the big dramatic, you know. Yeah, the expose, the climax. It was obvious. Yeah, well, Richard, you didn't want to be in the commentary. You didn't want to be this character. <laughs> you didn't want to be this character. Wait, shh! I'm watching a movie. <laughs> it's called the commentary. We're supposed to talk. <laughs> that shot was actually supposed to be right for when Marcos walks right in, but it didn't really flow right there. So I thought it worked better there. It actually did. Elijah's mad at me. I should have guessed sooner. <laughs> now you fucked her up. After all, <laughs> you get around a lot. <laughs> oh, this this is my first attempt at special effects and everything. Case. So don't yell at me for them being shitty. My partner. I liked this ending scene. I thought it 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 did kind of go really fast paced towards the end and then just like drop down to really slow. But at the same time I thought it ended it well. It's kinda like the transition from money to us and them. Yeah, if you listen to Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> you'd understand. That's me. <laughs> with my facial hair. Oh, and there's my ring. I love that ring. It's a puzzle ring, by the way. Just, I don't care. it's awesome. Just and then, <laughs> credits. Oh, oh. And oh, then this this credit. gay ass song. I love this song. This song is so the best oh, credit that's me. song. Frank's in the world. I should have given you a shout out to my hometown, Cody Wyoming. <laughs> so, Cody, if you're watching this, anyone from Cody Wyoming? Oh, anyone? From, that's a place. I thought you were talking about a person. Cody Wyoming. <laughs> hey, yeah, right. city. Wyoming. <laughs> oh, I forgot to. I missed my uh, amazing credit that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, where I had like 50 cast, things. Uh, <laughs> yes. He, he made up like half those last names, by the way. Yeah, I can't. I just gave everybody and last names. Did you names notice what you did second. there? No. You did. Like, All for the two main characters? For the three main characters? No property of my man production. All rights is copyright material, so no. Anyways, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, for the cast. Mm -hmm. You did the first three characters, you said their character's name, and then our name. See what we're and then you said- Did I really? Yes, and then you said for the other two- Oh, you, shit. Watch, go back, go back. No, I can't go back, we're doing a commentary! <laughs> you can go back really quick. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back for a second. Go back. No! <laughs> go back! I'm not going back, it's, check it's it done. Out. Just check it it's out. done, just watch it yourselves. This is Dr. Steve Brule. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> what? For 